Uh, well, my name is Dan Evans, I'm based at Lancaster University. Uh, I'm interested in seeing how many years of productive soil that we've got left. So thinking not just about how it forms and how it erodes, but what the quality of that soil is. And being able to think about the quantity and quality of that soil, we can predict a productive lifespan for our soils in, in, around the world. And to do that, uh, we look at both the rate about which they're forming, the rate at which they're eroding, the rate at which the nutrients perhaps depleting from the soil. And we use all this information to think about how many years of productive soil that we have left. Well, really, the last two days have been about innovative thinking, but really it's about talking uh, about innovation and really discussing what innovation means. It's a buzzword, but we don't really think about what it really means and what it can do for us. And the last two, day, two days we've been talking about networking with people, both within and beyond academia. We've been thinking about how we might approach someone and how we might adapt to that particular person. And we've been talking about the skills that we require to go on and break through to success in the future. I think the idea stems way back into uh, the last 10, 15 years. There's been a, a growing uh, need for scientists to talk to non-scientific non audiences. And we've become almost wrapped in a world of science and terminology that we can't effectively communicate with people beyond the walls of academia. So I think the, the event, this particular event and all the other innovative events that STARS put on is really to break through that wall and to get scientists actually talking with non-scientists about their work and thinking about how we might respond to the needs of the population who we're really actually researching for. Well, we've been encouraged to use all sorts of different platforms for communication, whether it's social media, so the usual ones like Facebook and Twitter and uh, Snapchat, and to the more, perhaps more professional uh, communication platforms like ResearchGate and LinkedIn. Now, all of these I'm, I'm part of and I use on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's really about what you do on those sites, not how much you go on them. So it's effectively what you put on, what you post, the kinds of links that you make, uh, which are going to be effectively giving you links to, to other people in those areas that you, that you also specialise in. So it's about how you use something, not just about what you use. And this event has been very good in terms of thinking about the communication aspects of that, the words that you use, the kinds of behaviours of people and how you might adapt to those behaviours. The STARS programme for PhD students is basically a consortium of scientific projects and research. It's up to the scientist and, and the scientist alone, I should add, about how you disseminate that research to the public. Uh, I'm a keen writer, I'm a keen blogger, and my blog, which is uh, a PhD diary, if you like, um, seeks to kind of bridge that gap between the science audience and the non-scientific audience. And I think it's very important on that blog that I don't just talk about my research all the time, but all of the other stuff that goes on in the week of a PhD student. You know, we do an awful lot of science work, but we also do a lot of non-scientific work, and I try to mesh that in with, um, with, with stories of just travel and, and what, the, what you find and what you get up to when travelling to conferences. Sometimes actually going to a conference can be just as inspiring as actually what you go and, and see at the conference. So I try to do that on, on my site, Soil With Dan. The reaction's been very good. I mean, I had a, a previous blog um, before that and the reaction uh, on, on that particular blog was good. So I used some of those links and getting back to the themes of, of today, which is about networking. Some of the readers of my previous blog have now come on board and, and got involved with this particular new one for my PhD. And I'm seeking not just non-scientific audiences, but also people in, in the field, as it were. So by bringing these two cohorts together, we're able to perhaps move into a more disciplinary, interdisciplinary um, team in the future. Yeah. I've always had a great ambition to research and to share my passion for soils and my passion for geography and my passion for the world with as many people as possible. Uh, and so after my research, I would like to do a postdoc, so continuing that research journey, but also to become a lecturer in a university institution and, and as I say, to share that knowledge and passion to infuse the next generation of soil scientists, the next generation of geographers, the next generation of people who love and want to care and want to promote the world. I think because my ambition is to, to continue researching, I'm always going to be 
within a, an academic sphere. But I think the time has come really for scientists to reach out to non-scientific audiences. And by going to these kinds of events, I'm learning the skills to network with non-scientific audiences. And learning those skills, I can then go on after this PhD into the future with a, a greater network of people to use, a network of people to, to talk to and to discuss the problems and some of the solutions that we come up with together. You know, no one PhD student or no one scientist can solve all the world's problems and to generate a network of people is the best way of going about trying to solve some of the issues that the world faces today. Um, it's a year to this particular day at this event that I had my interview for the STARS programme and that STARS programme in the last year has has transported me from being a bachelor student, an undergraduate student, into not just a PhD student, but a, a real life scientist, a scientist working with other scientists, making a difference in the real world. The STARS programme has given me not just the contacts to other scientists, but these events in particular, the contacts and the skills I need to go out and make a difference in that real world. <laughs>